Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new here. My name is Lana. I love to listen to K-pop. I love everything K-pop and today we're going to be reacting to TXT's newest MV Deja Vu from their third minisode album tomorrow. I believe I just went to Target and got my copies. Um, Holes were immaculate, by the way. Um, anyways, before we jump into it, if this is your first video with me, um, my bias in TXT is Yeonjun, my record is Bumgyu, but obviously all five of the boys are just so near and dear to my heart. I just got tickets to see them in Oakland. I am sitting row four in front of the extended stage. Um, if you are going to that concert, let me know. I'm going by myself. So if you are going to the Oakland show and you want to hang out, let me know. I am so freaking excited. This is my first like sound check that I'm getting at a concert. The ticket prices, I don't even want to talk about it. However, I am a new grad RN in California. So I was like, this is my present to myself and their concerts like four days before my birthday. So I was like, this is my present for working hard in nursing and for my birthday. So it's fine. I'm so freaking excited. Anyways, that was just a little short spiel about myself in case you're stumbling upon this video. I am so excited to hear this song. I have heard nothing, no spoilers, like not even like a single note. So I... I'm going into this completely blind. I love TXT so much. Their discography is probably my favorite discography in K-pop, like in all of K-pop. I just, TXT never disappoint me. So I have very high expectations and I know that the boys are not gonna let me down. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right on into Deja Vu. By the way, I don't understand their lore. Like, I is it called a lore? I know nothing about it. So I might not understand things. I just really love their music. <sighs> okay. Sorry, Yeonjun. I do not. That freaks me out. The masks. I do not like that. Okay. Focus. I'm not gonna focus on the children running in creepy masks. Stop it, Sub Okay, Subin leading into the chorus, and then that chorus, and then the little bit of choreo that I just saw, and the outfits. We need to we need to watch that again. We need to appreciate this again. Sunim looks so good. Your 
되지 영원의 회귀 날 기다려줬던 너 Hang, hang on. Oh, okay. They just said Clarity, and Clarity is one of the Chapter Freefall version names. And then they said Eternity, and for a second I was like, is that another? Well, they have the Dream Chapter Eternity, the name Chapter Clar- Am I, like, digging way too deep into this? I'm, like, staring at all their albums on my shelf right now. Wait. I feel like they're calling back to a lot of their old albums. Now that like, I just picked up on that. Sorry, I'm literally, if you're wondering, I'm just staring at my, <laughs> my, my albums like, wait a second. Okay, we are continuing, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know this is a very like emotional video, but the effects and things that they're doing in the dancing is just so mesmerizing. So many goosebumps. <gasps> Help him. Okay. Okay. Like I said at the beginning, I do not under any I I I know 0% about their like lore, about their storyline. I'm pretty sure someone said it like kind of has to do something with like like what what is it? The little the little prince or something. I don't know, so I'm not gonna pretend like I do know what I'm talking about because I don't. I with when it comes to TXT, I just listen to their discography, and that's like I, I don't like dive super deep into like the meaning of things because genuinely I would love to. I don't have the time to. <laughs> um, so if you are someone who knows all about it and would like to inform me in the comments, by all means, like I. I, I will I will read about it. I guess I could just do that on my own time. But anyways, that song, we'll start with the song itself. Like if I was just to listen to it, which is my, with like on Spotify or something, the chorus is immaculate. The chorus is so catchy. The emotion that I feel just like listening to the way that they're singing the song is absolutely incredible which leads to their choreography. I 
I would love to do, maybe I will, maybe I'll do if they have like a dance practice or performance video or something because I feel like the choreo is going to be kind of like a like opening sequence choreo. You know what I mean? I know for sure they're going to perform this at the concert and I know that it's probably going to be just absolutely breathtaking. Um, choreo, great. The video itself, like I think I said during the video, I could tell it was very a very emotional video and after I watch it a few times, you have to remember this is my first time seeing this. So it was just a lot happening. Like the transitions were absolutely incredible. The effects were amazing. Their outfits were amazing. The lyrics, the vocals. So it's hard to like fully feel the emotion through the story that they're portraying throughout the video on my first watch because there's just so much happening, which is what I love about TXT is that their videos are like top tier. They're so good. They always they always leave you noticing something new even after you've seen the video like a hundred times. You can watch it for the 101st time and you'll notice something that you didn't notice before because they're just so intricate and just absolutely amazing. Um, if there is a like dance practice or a performance video, um, I will most likely do that. I really, I really enjoy those videos. I really enjoy dancing. That's one of like the biggest things that I love about K-pop is the choreography, is like the performance. Um, and TXT are like one of the best group performers in my personal opinion. Um, so yeah. Anyways, that was Deja Vu. So good. I am so excited to hear the rest of this album. I don't know if I'm going to do an album listen. I honestly might just listen to this one on my own. If videos come out, like if MVs come out for their other songs, I will obviously react to them. Um, but besides that, I'll probably just listen to this on my own time. But yeah, I think that is it. 10 out of 10. Loved it. And I know that I'm just going to continue to love it more as I listen to it more and like truly understand it. So if you would like to leave in the comments what you think about this song, what you got from the video, how it connects to the storyline, because I'm sure that it connects to the storyline, please leave that in the comments. I would love to read about it and let me know if there's anything else you would like me to react to. I am very busy. Like I said, I am a full-time registered nurse. And I don't really have time. However, I will get to it at some point. I always get to things. It may just take me weeks to months to do it. But I would love to react to whatever you guys would like me to react to. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.